Hi and welcome to section 2, implementing create and read through RESTful API. In this section we will cover what are the basics of REST and CRUD, how can we use SQL Alchemy for data manipulation, how to implement the create and read operations using RESTful API. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with the CRUD and REST basics. In this video we are going to take a look at what is CRUD, what does REST stand for and we will check how to map CRUD operations to HTTP verbs. In the end we will cover a few best practices to keep in mind when we are building RESTful APIs. CRUD is an acronym and stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. These are the most common operations which we want to have in case of an API which manipulates data. REST is also an acronym and its abbreviation of Representational State Transfer. Since REST APIs almost always use HTTP as an underlying protocol, the REST API is stateless, which means no data related to the client is stored on the server side, and each request contains all the necessary information for the server to fulfill this. REST API and architecture always involves a client and a server. The system has to be layered in order to extend it, and the data has to be cacheable. HTTP verbs or methods can be mapped to CRUD operation. Get method maps to the read operation, post method maps to the create operation. The delete method can be mapped to the delete operation and the put method can be mapped to the update operation. There are some guides which say that the patch HTTP verb is the actual one which should be used for update, but the put verb has a more in-depth meaning. If the item which was updated exists on the server side, then it will update the data. Otherwise, it will try to save the data coming through the request. There are some best practices which we should be aware of when we are starting to developing a new RESTful API. The first rule is we should always have a version for our API and we should use that in all the request URLs. An HTTP based good RESTful API should always return proper HTTP codes and error codes, like HTTP 200 for a successfully handled request or an HTTP 404 in case of a request which does not exist on the server side. For a secure RESTful API, each request has to be authenticated and validated so we are sure we do not execute data manipulation logic from an anonymous user. Good APIs are built with the possibility to add caching once this is needed. Starting to use a caching from the beginning can be an overkill because this needs extra maintenance from development and infrastructure point of view. In this video we covered what does CRUD and REST stand for, which HTTP verb should be used for the CRUD operations, and at the end we covered a few but very important best practices to be attentive to when building a new RESTful API. 